Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Sathivel, and in this video, you will see why we need to learn about Java 8 special features. Again, uh, from you know Java 8, we have got a lot of new features, right? Which actually support functional programming into the Java, right? Functional programming is not new; it is it is already there in other languages, but you know Java has adapted it on Java 8. Right, so it has basically certain uh, you know new functionalities like your functional interfaces, your uh, streams, you know your stream API, your method references, your constructor references, right, and lambda expressions, right. So how this can help us to write a better code, right? As a test automation engineer, why I have to learn it? Again, guys, I see a lot of code nowadays. You know, a lot of people struggling to understand the code written in Java 8 features, right? So this has to go away, right? Because uh, Java 8, you know, today, when I take this video, Java 15 is already in the market. As a test automation engineer, or even some developers, they are not yet ready to, you know, adapt to this functional programming because they feel more comfortable with object-oriented programming. Unless they try it out, they never know how it can make your life easy, right? To do this, okay, I have given you a certain assignment, okay? What is the assignment? Okay, you have to open uh, Amazon.in, and you have to fetch all the links in the Amazon.in homepage. You need to fetch the link text, whatever the link text present in those links. And basically, when you fetch them, okay, remove the links which doesn't have any text. Maybe it has some blank text, right? So remove them. We don't need it. And also, if there are links, uh, you know, with uh, duplicate links, right? When you fetch, fetch the links from the Amazon page, there may be duplicate links with the same link text. Suppose, say, you have laptops two times. I don't want to see the laptop in the second time. So I want to remove all the duplicates from there. And we, since we have a list of uh, text now, okay, I want to arrange them in an alphabetical order, okay? And at the end, I only want the links, okay? I only want the links that is starting with characters C and D. I, I am not interested in the remaining things. Again, guys, if you're watching this in your laptop, please do try out this assignment. If you haven't done functional programming, okay, you, you can write some code to do this, right? Please do write the code and, you know, tell me how much lines of code that you have used in the comment section. Again, after learning Java 8, how it can make your life easy. We will see that, right? Unless you know what you are, what's the benefit that you are going to achieve, you will not get the interest to learn new, something new. Again, guys, this is very new, uh, you know, uh, to, to test automation engineers or you're, you're, if you are using OOPS for a very long time, this is very new because functional programming uh, is something that, you know, been uh, untapped in test automation ind industry for a long time. This is very, very easy, guys. It is just, it is, we are unfamiliar to this, okay? It is very, very easy. So if you are having laptop, please try it out. If you're watching from your mobile device, you know, maybe, uh, you know, think about the code in your mind and see how much lines of code you would need, uh, you know, to make this assignment, right? Very, very simple assignment. Okay, now let's try to do this uh, practically in our code. Okay, first, let me do it the Java 7 way. Okay, I have a uh, Simple main method, I'm not writing any test ng code, very simple main method. With my web driver manager, I'm setting up my Chrome and opening the browser uh, with uh, Amazon.in. And here, okay, I'm gonna write a simple code uh, to achieve this, okay? First step, I have opened this particular link. Now I want to fetch all the links out of it, okay? So I can use a driver dot find elements, okay? Which will give me a list of web element, okay? By dot, okay, xpath, right? And this xpath, I'm going to use a slash slash a because that will fetch me all the links. Okay. Good. Now, I want to fetch the text from this. There is no way that I can directly fetch the text, right? So I have to actually store this in a list of web elements. Okay. A list of web element. Again, guys, the prerequisite is you already need to know Java and basics of Selenium to, to watch this tutorial. So if you haven't done that, please do watch that, uh, you know, uh, to have a good understanding of what I'm speaking now. Okay. So I will name it as a list. Okay. So this list is coming from your java.util list. So please choose the correct package. This web element is coming from your op openqa.selenium package. Good. Now we have a list of web elements. Now I actually want to fetch the you know, text from this particular web elements list. Okay. For that, I need to iterate to this. Maybe I can use a for loop for each. You can use for each as well. So I less than uh, list dot size. Okay. 
I plus plus. So maybe uh, I'll fetch a list dot get uh, zero or I. So and dot get. I want to get the text from this. Okay, it will actually return me string. Right, this is a give me a string. Okay, maybe I'll store it in a temporary variable because I just want to remove the uh, text. You know. I want to fetch all the text from the links and remove the empty links, right? So I don't want that. So maybe to do that, I just store it in a you know temporary variable. Again, you can skip this step if you want. Okay, if temp, okay, uh, dot is blank. Okay, this will give me whether it is blank or not, whether that particular string. Okay, so I can add a not so that uh, you know it will only uh, fetch me uh, the links that is not blank. Okay, now after this. Okay, I want to store this in a, another list, right? So for that, I again have to create another list, but this time I'm storing all the strings fetched from my li uh, links. Okay, so maybe um, text. Okay, and maybe this is a, I can use an array list here. Okay, array list. Good. Now in this, I will store all the things. Okay, text dot add. Okay, I want to add all the strings. How to get the string? Stem. Good. Good. Now we have everything stored in this. But what is the next requirement? Next requirement is see, I have opened this page. I have fetched all the links. I have removed the empty links. Now I want to remove the loop duplicates. Again, if you want to remove the duplicates, you can iterate to the list. Okay, you can uh, run a for loop again and then you know remove the duplicates if it's already present. You can have a temporary variable if it is already there. You can remove it. But you know if you if you know how to use a hash it, you can use that. So what I can do, uh, I'll create a new object for the hash it. Okay, this is anyways going to store a string, and I'm gonna pass whatever the array list I have. Okay, once you do this, okay, you can import this. Again, uh, you can this you can assign it to a variable. Maybe uh, remove duplicates. Okay. Control Shift and O. I guess yes, if you want to again convert this back to you know array list, you can again use a, a list of string uh, list after removing duplicates. Okay equal to new array list okay and then you can pass this set here okay this way it will be removing all the duplicates for you okay again you don't have to create this temporary variable here if you know you don't have to do this you can directly you know cut this and do this here okay Okay, let me maximize this so that we we can have a better view. So this list is now having, uh, you know, it, it's having only the elements that doesn't have any duplicates. Okay, first let me check it out whether if it is working fine. Okay, whether it is working fine till here. Okay, so I'll run a for loop again. So int uh, i equal to zero, i less than my text dot size. Okay, and i plus plus. Here I will do a sys out. Okay, and I can do i. Okay, now let's try to run this test and then see what's happening. Okay, this is to understand that there are duplicates in the result. Okay, so this open the Amazon website. It will print all the text here. Sorry guys, I need to use. Uh, Text dot index. Okay, so let me run it again. So my mistake. I'm just uh, you know used a i value instead of uh, text dot get a i right? So basically, you have to write a lot of code. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, if you notice, there are a lot of uh, things that is uh, duplicate. Okay, maybe some duplicates. Can I find? See, there is Seymour that is a duplicate here. I mean, Seymour is 
you know available multiple times so i don't want this duplicate at all next time i see i don't want to see this many see more okay so i want to remove the duplicates okay so after doing this operation okay if i do the in run it okay then all the duplicates will be removed again before that i also want to sort the collection okay i want to sort it in the alphabetical order again you can use multiple approaches but i am directly using a, a, you know collection dot sort and then passing this okay once you do this it will be sorted and i will you know iterate using this okay now let's try to run this time everything will be sorted okay so we have achieved almost all the things except uh, the we want to filter out only the ones with uh, starting with character c and d so this is little tricky task right we will also going to see how you know we can we are going to do this with java 8 so if you notice there is no nothing that is uh, you know no duplicate elements present now okay. this is a little cool right would i don't want to execute this now anymore so i'll remove this so this is getting bigger and bigger again i i have to add one more condition if okay this particular thing is starts with okay c dot starts with d then only i want to do all these things right so okay so now if i run it it will only print me the one links that is starting with c and d and it will be printed in the alphabetical order so basically we have to write at least 15 you know lines of code to achieve this particular scenario right so let it do let it run and let's wait for the results good so it's printed me all these things yes we have only the ones that is starting with c and d and there is no more duplicates again guys this is digital photography that uh, that is displayed in two different lines that's why you are seeing photography here this is actually one particular uh, text okay we are not bothered about it for now so this is the line of code maybe from 23 to you know 40 you have written at least 70 lines of code to do this again i haven't started using a, a for loop if i done that again it would have taken more lines of code I mean, we are not bothered about the lines of code but there are lot of probabilities that you can make mistake here okay let me come on this whole thing okay let me come on this whole thing okay and try to do this with the help of uh java 8 right if i know functional programming lambda input and stream then it is much easy so i am trying to find the web elements right dot and here i am trying to open a stream here and i want to do some operation that i want to fetch the text from all these things okay so whatever the element that i have i want to get the text out of it okay once i get the text out of it i want to remove all the duplicates i want to sort them and i also want to filter out only the ones okay only the ones that starts with uh c sorry capital c as well or maybe i'll write it in a new line okay yes yeah, starts starts with d okay so you write it in different lines so that you can understand it clearly and at the end i want to print all of them so for each of the string i want to do a sys out so i want to print the string whatever it is so i think we have done everything so i haven't done one more thing that is removing the blanks okay if you want to remove the blanks again i can also do filter and for each of the s that is coming i want to check whether it is blank okay only if it is not blank i want to do the, you know pass it on right so with just you know simple lines of code i have achieved the same thing so let's check you fetch all the links yes we are fetching all the links we're opening a string and we are converting all the elements to a list of string right instead of writing a for loop and storing it in two different thing okay we are sorting it we are removing the duplicates easily we don't create a new i know hash set for all these things 
right we are filtering out only the text that is starting with c and d and we are printing out all the elements again if you are aware of all the lambda references uh, sorry the method references you can remove the lambda and you can use method references instead of lambda okay then you can also write like this so the code looks much clean much readable and anyone can use this right so basically right it's more readable now so instead of this long and lengthy code you can write like this let's try to run and check whether if it is working fine or not it should it should still work okay obviously it has worked okay so guys everything is working fine but this time we are using streams right lambda expression method references functional programming into the test automation space if you also want to learn how we can how to do this please continue watching watch this playlist i will try to cover everything in detail so if you guys find this video interesting please share with your friends subscribe to the channel and you know it uh, you know make sure that you are uh, you know enabling that hit on that bell icon so that you receive the notifications again guys i'll see you all in another great video until then tata bye bye from amazon bye bye